Downloading and installing Boxcryptor. Boxcryptor is the cloud storage uh, encryption tool that I use and recommend. Uh, you'll find it at boxcryptor.com. As with all uh, downloads, make sure you get it only from the official site and not from any download sites. Unless, of course, this official site sends you to a download site, which is not doing. We'll download Boxcryptor. Go ahead and save it. Go ahead and run it. And let the installer do its thing. Accept the terms. Accept the privacy. Sure, let's help improve Boxcryptor. And install. Windows Explorer needs to be closed. That's fine. We'll let Boxcryptor do that. It'll restart Windows Explorer when it's done. You'll notice that the Start menu disappeared. It should come back shortly because it's actually part of Windows Explorer. At this point, we can dismiss the browser. We don't need to use that anymore. Signing in with my Boxcryptor account. I have two-factor authentication turned on in, Drop in Boxcryptor, something I do recommend you do. So what you can't see is that I'm reaching for my phone and firing up Authy, which is where I happen to have the uh, Boxcryptor two-factor code. And you can see that in fact, it's already been set up for me. The uh, most obvious thing you can tell is that um, in my Dropbox folder, normally, I have a mix of unencrypted folders, which you can read, and encrypted folders, which appear as Chinese characters. If I go to the Dropbox folder via Boxcryptor, you'll see now that all of these folders are, in, uh, are readable. Some are marked as being encrypted and others are not. All of this was virtue, by virtue of installing Boxcryptor and using my Boxcryptor account password. But that's it. Boxcryptor is installed and running.